Well, these are fresh frozen prawns. And today I'm not cooking the Hokkien noodles, but I'm slicing these to feed a terrapin. You can cut into smaller pieces and I'll use this to feed. The rest of it will be put into this plastic bag to be put inside the freezer here. As you can see, this compartment and this compartment is for frozen food. And I have used the prawns from such packaging. After you take out one or two pieces, defrost it. And then when they are soft enough, you can use to feed the terrapin. I will cover this up and I'll bring this piece to feed the terrapin outside for you to see. Look, here is the terrapin and I put it outside here to let it to get some sunlight from there. Sunning it every day for about 10 minutes is good. And look at, now I'm actually wanting to feed this terrapin and hope that it can move to a position where you can see it being you can see it biting this perhaps I will make an angle for you to see more clearly hopefully it moves to this position if possible or you can climb up this rock over here yes it's learning to climb up excellent yes let me give it some help if you can with how about I move it to the side here you can see clearly it's lighting up this part can you see yes it's biting it's struggling and you can see it can be lifted up oh it turned turtle so never mind press on for one more bite look at the terrapin here yes I let it go and you can see it's enjoying the food it tried to move to one corner and swimming frantically biting the very nice frozen prawn which I defrost it's now enjoying its food over here trying to dislodge it because it's actually quite big and delicious Isn't it wonderful? Yes, it's enjoying its breakfast here. Today, and let me move aside the rock so it can swim. And actually, it is grabbing this delicious frozen food. And this is the top view from here. And actually, it recognized my voice as I've been looking after this terrapin since the heightened alertness. Where well, I actually bought this terrapin to cheer up some student who was serving the home quarantine order. But the parents do not allow the child to keep, so I decided to keep this terrapin myself. And thanks be to God, it has given me great joy and able to teach other students about looking after animals. And you see, now it's actually, the rock is very heavy and the terrapin is unable to reach for the prawn which it accidentally pushed inside. So let's see what tactic it uses. Do you think it is strong enough to push the rock aside? Does it exert enough force as it tries to put itself, push itself to the rock? And I, I doubt so, but it's trying to navigate to this narrow passage. And perhaps it may be asking me for help. But let's see, wow, what an excellent survival skill. It indeed has certain force to push aside this rock and because I think it is worth squeezing through and yes, it managed to grab it what a wonderful turtle or wonder, wonderful terrapin is able to retrieve it and let's see whether it has the ability to move backwards 
to a safer site to consume this piece of frozen prawn which has been defrosted and that is the thunder and that is the warning siren from the golf club and it's going to rain very soon in fact it started drizzling and now the therapy is enjoying its food over here and do not be fooled actually a terrapin is not purely carnivorous it actually eats leafy vegetables but during its young age now it prefers meat rather than plants so to keep its diet healthy i do feed the terrapin with some fresh uh, leafy vegetables like the xiao bai cai and actually you can try germinating some green beans because I tried feeding terrapin, this terrapin especially with newly germinated green beans as it bites on the leaves, the first leaf of the germinated green bean and also the shoot. Look at his mouth. His mouth is very agile and you can see it from this angle on the top beam. Yeah, and this is a rock which I picked up during one of my hike in the forested area and now it's enjoying its last bit of the frozen prawn which has been defrosted and actually it is thanking me for feeding feeding this terrapin with this food indeed it's enjoying the fresh prawn isn't it and this is the top view of it and actually I hope that you can move out so that you can see it more clearly here as I push it but it tried to hide itself because it thought that somebody is going to compete with this terrapin for the food yeah it's showing its mouth here and it continues to bite hopefully you can see it's wide open mouth a terrapin is a reptile a reptile actually breathes through lungs and if you fully submerge a terrapin you will get drowned similarly like a crocodile because terrapins they actually need to resurface to take in atmospheric air although they can hold their breath underwater for extended period of time isn't it yes and is enjoying its commentary here. It's trying to locate a fresh piece of prawn and it's right in front here. Yes, let's bite it. It's beneath it, just beneath it. Hopefully you can find the piece of prawn which is just, I give it a little help over here so that it can move slightly backwards. And it's below its body here. Yes, this part. Yes, giving some sense. Yes, we find it. Yes, good. Enjoy his meal. Look at his, his mouth. It can actually, it's quite flexible. It can open up more than 90 degrees. And take a closer look now. Yes. He's using his front limbs to push aside the food that he's chewing now. What a joy to watch this terrapin feeding, isn't it? Can you see it resurface with brief? Yeah, because for respiration, oxygen is needed for the process of respiration. So after chewing its food, after swallowing it through the digestive system, it resurfaces to the in the atmospheric air to increase the process of respiration so that the food it eats combines with oxygen to produce energy and at the same time carbon dioxide is released during this process yes it resurfaces to take in oxygen and it submerged again to continue its meal now it's almost 10 minutes into this recording and time flies if you enjoy something 
like watching this lovely terrapin feeding. So once again, I wish you well. The terrapin is indeed a good pet to keep, it's easy to keep, and you just change the water at least once a day, or at most one and a half days, you've got to change the water. You can use tap water, but usually I mix with distilled water because tap water may contain excessive chlorine. So it may be not so good for terrapin. And it now submerges to have its final bite of this fresh prawn, which I just fed it over here. Hopefully, it can locate. Yes. And it's finishing his food. I'm going to feed him, feed the terrapin one small little piece later after I bring this container. This container is actually a biscuit container which I bought it from Sing Song. So I recycle this container and use as a home for this lovely pet terrapin for the past four months. So let's say goodbye to him. Take care and God bless.